What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. So we're going to talk about how to randomly place objects, specifically trees, in a model using a free extension. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so the example model that I'm using is the Factory Condominiums by Paul Wall. So you can find this and follow along if you want to in the 3D warehouse. Note that I have modeled out a site around this building. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use a free extension from Alex Schreier, which allows you to randomly place objects on different things inside your model. You can download that from the SketchUp extension warehouse just by searching for random tools. And then downloading and installing this extension. And so what I like about this extension is, first of all, it's very simple to use. So basically what it does is it gives you a number of different options for randomizing different things. In this case, we're gonna focus on these three middle tools right here, the place components randomly on faces, place components randomly on edges, and place components randomly on vertices. So what that's gonna do is that's gonna give us a way to place these objects in our model. And so notice how the way that I've modeled this out is this is basically just a raw piece of geometry so my model face right here is just raw geometry. So the easiest way to randomly place trees inside of this model is to just select the face, do a shift click, and then click on the button for place components randomly on faces. And so this is going to give you a number of different options in here for things like max number of copies per face, max rotation. So this is how many objects are going to be created. This is the maximum rotation. So it's going to randomly um, rotate your objects. There's also an option here to randomize your scale. So what that means is this is going to vary the scale of your objects by up to 0.5. So you can also set this so that your orientation is set either to the normals or up. In this case, it doesn't matter because we're using a flat surface. And then you can also place these on a layer or a tag. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a tag called trees over here in my tags. So then when I run this, what this is going to do is this is going to place 50 copies in here just like this. And so these are proxy models for Inkscape, meaning they're going to render out with more detail than what's going on right here. You can see how we've got some issues in here because our raw face is actually running underneath our building just like this. And so what it's doing is it's placing these on that surface. And so what we're going to do is we're going to undo that and we're just going to do a little bit of work on this surface. So the first thing we're going to do is, honestly, I don't really want trees running down here. I more just want them to run in the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this face up. So I'm just going to draw a line over here. Then I'm going to draw a line over here. Well, now I've just got this face instead of the face that we had in here before. And so now I'm going to run this again. So I'm just going to run it like this. And I'm going to go ahead and set my max number of copies to maybe like 35. And we'll set our scale, scale variation factor to 0.75. And we're going to go ahead and click on OK. So what that's going to do is that's going to place a number of random trees in here. And notice a few of these may intersect with your building. Usually what you're going to do is you're just going to go in here and manually clean that up just like this. Well, now, if I was to come back in here and let's say I was to run the rendering in Inkscape, what Inkscape will do is it'll pull in the actual geometry for my rendering rather than the proxy geometry that I have in here. We can talk more about that in another video, but just so you have an idea of what's going on. And so if I go in here and look at this, you can see what this has done is this has placed these trees in here randomly on this surface. And so now let's talk about some ways we could get a little bit more control over this. And so one thing I don't like about this is that they didn't come in here very even, right? It feels like I've got a lot of trees over here as opposed to over here. Well, one thing you might do is instead of placing these in here um, across the whole face like this, what you might consider is you might consider breaking the face up and just running this a couple different times. So what I might do, for example, is I might select my trees and randomly place them here. And what that's going to do is that's going to give me a lot more control over where these are placed. So now I feel like my trees are spread out a lot more evenly um, as opposed to the way they were before. And so what we've been doing up to this point is we've been talking about randomly placing these on faces. Notice there are options in here to place these randomly on edges as well as randomly on vertices. So what we could do, 
for example, is I've got a little surface over here that I created with sandbox tools. And so what we might do is we might select a number of edges like this. We'll go ahead and take these right here. Well, what that's gonna do is that's gonna give me more control over where these are placed. So now, if I was to run this with these little trees like this, what I can do is I can click on the button for place components randomly on edges, and it's gonna say max number of copies per edge. In this case, remember that this is a lot of edges. So we're gonna go ahead and click on, or we're just gonna type in a value of one right here. Then we're gonna put this on the trees. But if we click on okay, what that's gonna do is that's gonna randomly place these trees along these rows, just like this. And so that might give us more control. The other option that we might have is if I was to make a copy over here and do the same thing, we could select the option for place components randomly on vertices as well. And basically what that's gonna do is that's going to randomly place these based on the points where the edges intersect. So instead of the edges, um, a vertex is gonna be like the point at the end of a line in here. So if I was to run this, so if I was to randomly place these on vertices, and we'll go ahead and set our placement probability to like 25%. We'll put these on the trees layer. But if I click on okay, what that's gonna do is that's gonna come in here and randomly use the vertices rather than the edges or the face. And so what this does is this really gives us more control over the way these trees are placed. It gives us multiple ways to do this. And so what that would allow us to do is, for example, let's say that we had an area in here that we wanted more trees. So what I could do is I could draw, divide some lines in here and then just randomly place them like this. Well, then I could select all of these and my trees and I could set this to randomly place these on the edges. And we're gonna say max number of copies per edge one is fine. We're gonna click on okay. But notice what that did is that allowed me to really quickly control where these trees are gonna be placed inside of my model. So it's just another way to give us more control over the way objects are placed inside of our models. All right, so I will link to some other videos about randomly placing objects in SketchUp on this page. Big thank you to my supporters on Patreon for voting on this extension. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.